Hi everyone, I'm Jen Zoe, and this week's Chips and Salsa has to do with what we call representational systems or the predicates. What it really means is, like what the heck is that? That's a lot of big long 25 cent words. But what that really means is, is that we all have a different way of communicating and learning and processing information. And so when we look at it from a perspective of building rapport, we think about things like visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory, and gustatory, the five senses. So I'll start off with that. The first one being visual. So a visual learner, someone that processes things visually, will when you talk to them, you'll listen, but it would be something that would look like, oh, I see what you're saying. I understand but how you can look at things that way. You see how when they say, oh, well, I look at things, I see things, it uses words and things like that that make sense. So when you say things like, it appears like, or boy, you are sure are a sight for sore eyes, you know, things like that will help you understand that someone probably has a tendency towards a visual uh, learning system. The other one is auditory. What is an auditory learner? What is a, a, the, the representational system of an auditory person sound like? You might, you might hear them say something like, oh, I understand, I hear what you mean. Or, yeah, you know, I'm listening, I want you to know that you're heard. You know, words like that. They might like describe somebody that talks a lot like a blabbermouth or, you know, different ways that make you think about listening. So using an auditory learning style is interesting too. The last one is kinesthetic. And what does a kinesthetic person look like? They talk slower. They think through their process. Said, oh yeah, I feel you. I understand. You know, I understand what you're saying. So the way that they, they access information is much more slow and methodical to process it so they can have feel for it. Now, in a minute, we're gonna show you some video clips um, about some horses that respond visually from an auditory perspective and kinesthetically as well. So what'd you think guys? Pretty interesting. Did you see how the horse was like looking at the water and then looking at his buddies and looking at the water and going, okay, well I can't do it by myself, but since I saw them do it, that would be a visual example. And then the second horse where that horse saw the, the little donkey, you know, immediately there was a response to a visual stimulus. And then the second set of horses where the first horse, the one that I actually been playing with, got really worried about hearing the sirens go by. And then the second horse, man, kaboom, and you could hear him actually kick the air. It, what he, it, it really was a very powerful um, response to that. And then the kinesthetic ones, you gotta admit, the wedding dress one's pretty freaking funny. But something that they felt, something that touched them, something that, that, that they grappled onto, 
um, was what got them concerned. And I'll tell you what, that second gal really knew how to ride because that horse was determined to be worried about what was touching him. So there's some great examples of visual, auditory, and kinesthetic uh, representations of how you can build rapport and definitely how you can break it. So thanks for tuning in and see you next time.